What's happening, people? Back with another reaction. Back with some more William Shatner. And we're going back to his Seeking Major Tom album. I apologize, Luca. Uh, and yeah, we're going to listen to his cover of Bohemian Rhapsody. It's interesting because a lot of the songs on this album have names that are related to, you know, space and maybe his uh, Star Trek character, certainly the Major Tom character and that sort of uh, mythology. But there are one or two others that don't seem immediately related. And this is one of them. Uh, so yeah, I assume this is a direct cover of the Queen tune. I enjoy the Queen tune a lot. I heard it very um, early on when I was a kid because my brother listened to like classic rock and sort of like art rock and some other things. Um, whereas again, my sister was listening to like synth pop. So I was hearing that as well as my mom. My dad was listening to like sort of uh, classical and some other types of music, um, you know, like uh, R&B, not R&B, uh, rhythm and blues, like, you know, 60s kind of tunes and so on. So yeah, I grew up with a lot of different musical influences, and one of them um, led to me hearing Queen tunes very early on. So I heard that tune well before I saw it hilariously, kind of like um, lip sunk to, lip synced to uh, in the Wayne's World movie. Uh, but obviously, it's hard to think of that track now without immediately thinking of that scene in that film. Uh, but yeah, I know the original well, so you know I kind of know the beats of the song, uh, so I'll have a sense of how this will unfold. Uh, but yeah, given the way that he sung the Peter Schilling tune, Major Tom Coming Home, I would maybe expect it to have the same delivery, that kind of like spoken word, um, art house, sort of, you know, slam poetry kind of feel to it. So um, that's what I would expect. I guess we'll find out. This is William Shatner and his cover of Bohemian Rhapsody on the Major or Seeking Major Tom album. Is this the real life? Uh, see? Is this just fantasy? Caught. In a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. I'm oh, just a poor boy. I need no sympathy. Cause I'm easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. Anyway, the wind blows, doesn't really matter to me, to me. Mama, just kill a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. Oh, it's a more emotionally broken Life had just begun But now I've gone and thrown it all away Mama oh, Didn't mean to make you cry If I'm not back again this time tomorrow Carry on, carry on Nothing really matters. Too late. My time has come. The sends shivers down my spine. Body's aching all the time. I just think Gar 
basically anyone else so yeah it's his same like mad genius thing where like it's silly it's ridiculous his like delivery of some of the lines is quite literally comical and yet I enjoy it like I like the sort of silly over-the-top absurdist take on this all-time sort of classic tune um, so yeah it's just another one uh, where I'm enjoying this and it's like Part of my brain is like comically amused, like mystery science theater uh, style, and the other part of my brain is like, you fucking genius, like I can't believe it. Uh, and you know, again, his vocal delivery in this one, like a bit more sort of emphatic or um, like artistic, I'll say, whereas like the Peter Schilling song, he kept that sort of spoken delivery slam poetry thing like all the way through. Uh, whereas this one, he definitely was, you know, playing the character and the emotions more. So it's another one where, like, I imagine him in the studio, kind of like, you know, expressive faces, like emphatic gestures and so on in front of the microphone. So, in any case, more genius. Uh, once again, shout out to Han Solo. Uh, appreciate going through this journey. And ultimately, you know, it's eye-opening at the same time as it is amusing. So, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>